quick update on the bin progress. Cement is done and there we got four rings on. 16 more to go. We went for lunch right now, but hopefully they get her done and we gotta put the floor in and then the downspout to the leg and wire it all. So harvest is coming fast. Well what day is it today? August 7th we are going to spray two of our last three fields of fungicide the other one had 1.3 inches of rain on it yesterday day and a half ago so we'll get these two knocked out and wait for that other one to dry up and then I think besides spraying some drowned out spots with 2,4-D I think we're done spraying for the year Bug control. Beans are looking pretty good compared to what uh, from what they started out as this year. Very wet. Well, we're inside the bin. If you've ever wondered how they build them, we've got these jacks they bolt onto the wall, and then they raise it up. And then when they've got the bottom ring on again, then they lower these jacks, bolt it to the next one, and up they go. So we got one, two, three, four, five rings. Five rings done, 15 to go. We use that to uh, start with the roof up together. They're getting there, one ring at a time. There's the stack that's got to go on that. Little update on the bin, slow and steady. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings on. We got 13 to go. It's a 36 by 20 ring. Ah, uh, yeah. So I got a ways to go up yet, but it's coming along. Takes a long time with the stiffeners, and then I've got the uh, side draw in here, so they got to put those in inside, and the steps. Everything has to get bolted together. Plus the wind rings, there's extra wind rings on here because of the side draw. So yeah, latest update on the bin. There's Max. Huh? Pretty hard for the birds to land on the ground with Max around here. Uh, today we are unhooking the trailer from the 96. Gonna run the truck to the uh, shop, get some work done on it. Miracle, get out of the way. Get over here by the combine. What do you think, Colt? Good. Update on the bin. Sunday. Oh, I'm dropping you guys. Sunday, got back from church, had some dinner. Give you a quick update on the bin. They've got eight rings done. Just about eight rings done. One more sheet there and that'll eight. Eighth ring will be done. They got 12 more to go. So it's coming along. It's on going on week. Is it week two? Week three. Yeah, it takes a long time to get all the stairs and stuff on there though. Wind rings, stiffeners. But I don't know if you can see in there, it's probably pretty dark, but there's the whole stack of sheets they gotta do yet. So that's the latest. We'll keep keep you updated daily if we can. Got Colt again with me this morning. Daily update on the bin. They got two more rings done yesterday. 
So it's not going real fast. They're uh, halfway now. 10 done, 10 to go. Well, this is what we are up to today. Got the combine all tore apart, switching good combine over to deer guidance. And I got a tell case. Thanks for not welding the nut on there because we took this off to get this paneling out. And it fell way back down in there. So we had to go get a new nut, didn't we, Kobe? Yeah. So now we're putting it all back together. We got the monitor that'll run the guidance up there and then the case 700 that'll run the combine. Hopefully we can uh, not lose signal this year. Well, we got the nut on with one of our little specialty hook deals here. Stuck it down in through there and I held it and then Kobe got it started, so we got that problem taken care of. Now we got to put the buddy seat back together after we put the new nav controller under there. Tucking a lot of wires away here. Colby working on uh, the 9230, switching it over. Deer guidance, this will be our last piece of equipment we got to do, and then everything is converted. We can stop sending money to Deer Corporation, hopefully. What do you say, Colt? What do you say, morning? You got your morning shirt on? The border. Yeah. Well, bin update, there's uh, four rings to go, but we're running into a little bit of issue up there. It's going to make contact with the downspout to the wet holding bin, so we're going to have to take those uh, brace wires off. Um, so yeah, hopefully they get that bin finished this week. We've got a lot of other stuff to do yet. Put that conveyor back, put the floor in. So it's getting, fall is coming fast. Has anybody ever tried these motorless spreaders? Spread all manufacturing. I guess that's what they've been selling lately. So I'm gonna give it a shot. It's supposed to do up to 9,000 an hour, that one. Because this, the one, uh, the bin that that's going in is going to, the leg is going to go to that. And this is a tw 10 to 12,000 bushel an hour leg. So, hopefully I can handle it. Uh, bin update, two rings to go. There's the start of the door right there. And they got the side chute hole cut in it. So that's coming along. Should finish tomorrow and then uh, they can put the floor in. And they can put the floor in and uh, auger. Auger then floor. And then uh, we get put all the pipes back up but reason they got slowed up today was the pipe, the spout that uh, goes from the leg to the wet holding bin. Oh, getting tight around here. This pipe here that goes to the wet holding bin, these brackets here, the bin was going to run into these cables. 
We had to take it down and we're going to have to redo the bracing part of this tube to miss the bin. And we had to take and disconnect this cable from that I-beam because that was in the way. So we got the tractor tied to that one. That's going to have to figure out where we're going to do with that too. I guess we should have had the bin about a foot west. But then we would have gotten into that air system pipe. So it's getting up there. Good morning. Yesterday we worked on the uh, 9230 trying to get the guidance to work after several phone calls we figured out that the Pro 700 didn't have a high enough update in it to accept the John Deere so we are waiting for them to come out today to give that an update hopefully that fixes that and that will be ready to go uh, 50 we put that in and it worked right away so that was good that was an easy change and here's the bin it's all done except uh, they got the railing to put on I shouldn't say all done the bin is up they got the door to finish put the floor in and the railing for the steps but yeah it's coming along and then uh, I don't know how much we'll use it, but I thought we'd put a side chute in to the leg, direct to the leg, so we don't wear out the auger so much. We can unload quite a bit of the bin right into the leg through the side draw. And then we'll empty it out through the auger. The auger will come out just on that side of the door. Goes up, jump auger up into the leg. But it's almost September 1st in a week, 10 days. We got that, that floor, put the conveyor back up from that bin to there, and then get everything wired. So, oh, the fan has to be put on. So, yeah, it's getting, getting to be crunch time. And they had to take the spout down to the wet holding bin because the brace cables for that were in the way so they got to put that back up and put the spout down to the bin so yeah it's it's uh, time to get her going August 26th 92 degrees out we started working on the bean heads we got two sickles rebuilt this one we just finished, that one there is rebuilt. We have two sickles for each head. We got one new sickle in that other head. So we've only got one more to rebuild and we'll have four of them that we can switch. We got some guards we got to replace. They're getting pretty thin. And one other big project on this head is our older head. We got to replace that floor underneath that auger. But they said the easiest way to do that is put it on the trailer, uh, ratchet strap that auger way up, and then uh, pull it out the back. So, yeah, it's coming. We saw our first uh, first field in the area. I don't know what variety it is that the guy planted, but it's starting to turn. You can see it right to the row. So, probably about three weeks. Three weeks will be rolling on at least a little bit. But uh, it's a time. Well, on the bright side, we finished our last sickle to rebuild, put all new blades on. But on the flip side, the bad side, I uh, went to start the combine, and there was one of our cats in the fan, between the fan and the radiator. And I won't elaborate on it, but I'll just say we need a new fan and hopefully not a new radiator. And we are minus one cat. So, yeah, not a good day. 
Oh, I got the broken fan out. That one's broke. That's got a chip out of it. That's missing a chunk. But as far as we know, the radiator is okay. So get the uh, stinky water out of there and we'll know more here once we get it all dried up. But we don't smell any antifreeze, so that's good. Putting on new guards, go. Wow. I think we got 10 that we need on this head and 25 on the other one. That, that head's a lot older, but it's about 35 guards to get started, and then we'll have some in the combine as we go. Good Labor Day weekend. Uh, the bin is up, it's what you probably already know on earlier in this video, but uh, Friday this showed up. GSI Versa Loop. It's a 12 inch. It's going to go on top of the bin. It's got a 15 horse motor on it. And that will go up on top of the bin up there so that we can fill that bin with a leg. Our leg got too short once we went that high with the bin. And I still like to have a bin that we can put uh, beans or corn if they're dry. Put them right in the bin. And my fan showed up, or is in, in town I guess, so that's good. We're just, things are slowly coming together. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, just the floor. I think everything else is in and then we... Uh, Put the unload in and get it wired.